Welcome on all to Mission SK. Here I am with an interesting topic called homology modeling. We can know it is an often pronounced mantra of structural bioinformatics. There are millions of sequences have been deposited in sequence databases, but there are only few thousand structures in structure database like PDB. So why this is huge difference? Experimental difficulties in X-ray and NMR structures the scientists have been facing, but it can be bridged by homology modeling. The thing you record for finding your structure of the unknown sequence is the template sequence so that you can make a sequence alignment of both structure sequence and your unknown sequence. And finally, the structure model can be made by the alignment of it and comparing with it in the structural model. So model is nothing but is a, a program for comparative protein structure modeling by satisfaction of spatial restraints. Yeah, it is able to find the 3D structures by just satisfying the spatial constraints. So the sequence structure means the target sequence structure will be based on similar to uh, similar to the structure uh, structure of template protein. So how can I find the template protein? So I will just give an overview. Just look over here. You are having a target sequence. From the target sequence, the template identification and selection can be done using BLAST. And from that target sequence and the template sequence alignment is made on using structural alignment it or it can be a multiple sequence alignment. In our demonstration, we are going to see about the multiple sequence alignment and you want to build a model on it and refine the model by using SAP server means a structure analysis and verification server and evaluate your model from it. And if your model is good enough, you can proceed that for drug binding studies and so on. So this is an overview of homology modeling. Now let us demonstrate and uh, to know about how the homology modeling is actually done. I have chosen human trim phi alpha as my target protein. This trim phi alpha is nothing but uh, intrinsic host defense protein, but the structure for the trim phi alpha is not available in PDB. Thus far, we are interested to find the structure for human trim phi alpha through homology modeling. So this is the FASTA sequence of that target protein and through BLAST search, I have got the PDB structure. PDB structure of research trim phi alpha. So uh, this is a structure of research monkey trim phi alpha PRY domain means a C terminal domain. From this, from this structure, I am going to predict the structure of uh, my target protein, human trim phi alpha. So for that, the FASTA sequence of that protein, which I got from the PDB website itself. Okay, let us proceed on. To proceed further, we want to put the both sequences into a, a single file called both that FASTA. Means uh, to help it in multiple sequence alignment. Okay, let us go on to for multiple sequence alignment. This is the first step of homology modeling to create an alignment file. Alignment file is required for homology modeling. Yeah, so it can be done by cluster LW. To know about cluster LW, there is a specific video in my series which you can follow. Okay, to cluster LW, I will just brief, I will be fastly going on. Input your sequence uh, by giving the option 1 sequence input means uh, our file name is both that faster so the sequence have been inputted 493 amino acid sequence and 208 amino acid sequence and the second thing you want to pr press the choice 2 so you you want to do a complete sequence alignment right before that you want to check change the options by going to the option number 9 so you can set on what are the options you require from that cluster W results? I want PAR format output also. You will come to know why we are using PAR format. So it will help us to create alignment format from it. Okay, I am going for PAR format. So I am pressing 2 to activate that PAR format. And we also require ALN format, which is already there. Okay. Now I am just doing complete multiple sequence alignment by option 1 okay now the generate the files are generated output files have been generated 
so I'm exiting out of it. These are the output files have been generated from our cluster WS Prement. For example, the TLN file, PAR file, and so on. There is one more tool called ATM to ALI from the package of Joy. So to install Joy, it's easy. You can ver you can refer to the website how to install Joy. So using that ATM to ALI, we can annotate our structure. That is 2LM3 PDB structure. From that, what we will get, we are converting that at atom files into an alignment file. <coughs> so one more file I have been added to my folder called 2LM3.ALI. On ALI file have been added. If you use that ALI file, oh sorry, if you view that ALI file, you can get the format means all the atom files have been made into one alignment format. The two things to be noted in alignment format is the star and the P1 and, al and nine colons separated the description about that protein. Okay, fine. <coughs> So we want to edit the 2LM uh, what we will infer from here using the ALI format we want to convert the ALI format for both sequence and the structure means target and the template move command in Linux we are converting that PAR file into an ALI file by just pressing this command called uh, move.ALI means move.PAR into both that ALI. So now we'll get one more file added to, to my folder called both that ALI. In that folder, what I observe, uh, what I observe is similar to the alignment file I have observed in that ALI file generated through ATM2 ALI. So we got the standard format of star and that P1. With ALI format as a reference, vim that ALI format as a reference, I have generated means I have converted that both dot PAR into ALI format. So let's visualize how that uh, alignment format look. Sorry. Yeah. Now we have generated an alignment of target, target and the template. So this alignment format is an input for our homology modeling modeler tool. Now let's go into homology modeling tool. Before going into homology modeling, we want to know about one more input file called model default.py file. That is a Python file which which going to run our program indicating our inputs. See the things which you want to edit in this alignment file means this Python file is to give the alignment file name. Our alignment file name is both. So we are giving both.ali file, the file name of that alignment file and you should write the codes of your PDB. You should be very careful what code have been mentioned in your PDB file. The similar codes has should be given in this in this in this codes. Okay, fine. And also you should give the codes written for your the code which you written for your sequence. So the code which I written for my sequence is target. So I have given the name target in this codes. And this is optional. How many models you want to generate? it's obvious to give 1 to 10 generator model so that we can visualize among them which is the best model and our model tool also will take less time to run okay fine let's go into the program to execute the program you want to write type the command called mod 9 point means my version is my version of modeler is mod 9.10 and the model default.py file you want to note one more thing this model default.py file should present in the folder which you have all the input files. So in my thing I have I done so. Uh, you should note if it's the thing is blinking and you also get a indication that import site file and use hyphen v for trace back it indicates that our homology modeling is running. So what we will get output of is we will get a log file. If you analyze the log file we can know which is the best model generator okay it will take time let's wait for the output it hardly took around 5 minutes to complete my model since my amino acid residues are very less so no need to bother let's go about into the folder now if you see the folder you have got lot of files have a generator but see lot of 10 models 
which we mentioned have been generated from this 1 till 10 another log files so the important thing to consider to note first from your homology modeling result is to go to the log file so the log file will give the details about it uh, I am going to my log file using edit command the log file should be in the name of model default dot log right log ok this is my log file in that log file just no, just uh, roll scroll down to the last part of your log file where you will get the probability density function mol pdf means probability density function which will give a summary of successfully produced models what this model saying to us uh, you can know about it th through the further references but the thing to be noted here to find out the least model among it so I just pick it out the least model means the less numeric number means the less number 1388 among the others means to me the low least model because low energy structure is going to be stable this is the logic behind it so for my convenience I am renaming that seventh model as best so where is that seventh model ah it's here so for my convenience I am renaming it to best so this should be my best model among the 10 of it so to validate that model I am using a server called SAPS server so go to your google give SAPS so SAPS is nothing but structure analysis and verification server yeah it's NBI is sorry it's NEH NIH thing uh, from MBA laboratory of structural genomics and proteomics so which I'm interested is Procheck so first input your file input your file from the uh, our file name is best right so I'm checking for that best uh, I'm inputted the best file and uploaded it into the server to get the result for Procheck it's working please wait so Procheck what it actually does it checks the stereochemical quality of the protein structure by analyzing residue by residue geometry and overall structure geometry so other tools along with Procheck for subset verification or non-boundary interactions you can use that tool like ERAT, VARCHECK, VERIFY3D let's wait for Procheck ah, we got our result so the mo most important thing we require from it is the Ramachandran plot we all know that uh, how Ramachandran plot is important to us because the Ramachandran plot give Ramachandran plot is nothing but the phi psi plot so it can easily say our protein lies inside the target or uh, the lies inside allowed region or disallowed region so let's go for the statistics of it in which our protein lies of around 98 percent inside allowed regions and 2 percent in disallowed regions not even 2 it is actually 1.1 means 2 residues lying out of it so most of our, uh, uh, our amino acid residues lie inside the allowed regions so it's a good point of indication we have generated a good model to visualize our model we want to use a tool called PyMol right I am using PyMol finally we got our best model generated from homology modeling now we just compare I just made the open two PyMol files of 2LML3 our uh, homology model I means our template for our homology modeling and our best structure which we got from homology modeling tool called modeler so thus far we generated a homology modeling and we also verified through SAP server even you can also bring the two residues which were missing in that uh, SAP server which is not in the allowed regions through loop refinement okay we can see about the loop refinement and energy minimization of the model protein in the upcoming lectures thank you for joining us thank you for joining mission sk thank you